The kingdom of God is not about tithing and about keeping the law of Moses, observing the Sabbath. It is about serving the King, Jesus Christ. It is about living in close relationship with Him under guidance of the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is not about money, but the kingdoms of church are about money. Jesus did not command his disciples to go all over the world, start churches and assign the members up to pay tithes. He commanded his disciples to go all over the world and preach the gospel, his words, his commands, the words that he spoke and to make disciples of all nations, to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jesus commanded his disciples to make disciples, not to build churches. And that is what the secular churches are doing today. They are not of the kingdom of God. They are building their own kingdoms. And they demand of members to pay tithes and more. To them it is all about money. It is not about the kingdom of God. It is not about bringing people into relationship with Jesus because they themselves do not know Jesus Christ. Jesus did not preach money, tithes and Sabbath and keeping the law of Moses. He preached the kingdom. He said, follow me. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to those who obey his gospel, to those who believe, repent and are baptized in water. He promised that he would give his Holy Spirit to be with them, in them and to guide them. They will live in communion with him. He will reveal himself to them and they will know him for real. The kingdom of God is about our relationship with Jesus Christ, knowing him for real, serving him as Lord and Master. It is not about money. It is not about organizations. It is not about fellowship with other believers. Those are all the teachings of the church community, of the churches, people that do not know Jesus Christ. They use the gospel for their own benefit. Jesus does not require of us 10%. He requires of us to submit ourselves to him 100% and to follow him, to abandon our own ways, to forsake our own desires and to go after him, to stop sinning, to stop going after the pleasures of sin and to seek his kingdom, his righteousness, his approval, to follow him every day, not to observe special days, Sabbaths and feast days, but to follow and obey him. Jesus Christ did not teach the law. He gave the words of eternal life, his words, as they are also recorded in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. The commands of Jesus to those who obey his words, those are the words of eternal life. Those words will judge each and every one. Those who disregard his words will perish. The kingdom of God is about serving and obeying Jesus Christ. Do not be deceived by churches that teach you that you must pay tithes, that you must obey the Sabbath, that you must keep the Ten Commandments. We have to obey the words of Jesus to have eternal life. There is no other way. Jesus Christ is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. If you want eternal life, you must obey Jesus Christ. Obey his words, repent and be baptized. Seek him with all your heart. He will give his Holy Spirit in you to teach and guide you. And if you follow him until the very end, 
you will have eternal life. Jesus Christ alone is the way. His words alone are the words of eternal life. Obey Him and you will live. You will have eternal life. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.